Welcome to the first lesson in a series of 10 which will introduce you to the basics of modern electronics. In this introduction, we will take a look at an overview of the complete course content, what electronic parts will be needed to follow the course, and what outcome expectations you should have as a student. The world of electronics changes faster than any other industry. New electronic inventions and products are created daily, whether they appear on the internet or in your local electronics store. A traditional electronics course would require years of calculus, physics, and hard science prerequisites. However, the main goal for this course is to present the exact same material in a way so that anyone who finished secondary school can understand electronics. No textbooks necessary. How is that possible? By using real-world examples of the devices we use every day and performing hands-on experiments. Electronic devices are all around us and we already know how to use them. Understanding the role of the parts inside of these devices is just one extra step forward. The content of each lesson will follow a simple format. The topic will be introduced, a practical explanation will be given, we will take a look at some math and theory, and finally, we will look at some real-world examples. The actual content of this course will explore nine fundamental necessities of modern electronics. Electricity, resistors, capacitors, inductors, diodes, transistors, op-amps, 555 timers, and electronic schematics. Alone, each part has specific properties and functionality, but it is when they are combined together that we get the awesome electronics that we use every day. To follow along with this course, you will need a few electronic parts like the ones you see in front of you. To clear up any possible confusion, let's take a quick look through all of the parts needed for this course. The large parts are one breadboard and one jumper wire kit, and a digital multimeter. The smaller components needed are various resistors, capacitors, diodes, and transistors. You will also need a 555 timer, a 741 op amp, one 5 kilo ohm trim pot, and a 9 volt battery connector. All of these parts were provided to us courtesy of Gadgetory.com, an online electronic shop. If you can't order parts online, don't worry. Any electronic store near your house should have all of these parts, or at least most of them. Since we will be learning modern electronics from a practical perspective and not focusing on theory, you should expect to be able to recognize electronics and components more easily and give a good educated guess as to what their purpose is. Remember, this is a course to get you started on the path to becoming an electronics genius. From a theory perspective, you should expect that by the end of this course, you will be able to draw up your own electronics blueprints known as schematics. In addition, you should feel comfortable poking and prodding electronics with your multimeter. And overall, you should expect to feel more confident when talking about electronics with like-minded people. All parts in this online course were provided by the Gadgetory. Visit them at gadgetory.com pyroedu. 
Now, if you are ready, continue on to lesson 2, electricity, to begin your journey into the world of electronics.